All right, what's going on friends? In this video, I'm going to be going over how I built this small little slab that I'm going to put my condenser unit for my air conditioner on. Hopefully I teach you a few things along the way in this video that helps you out. Uh, these are some of the things that I, I used. I would have to say it's not 100% that you need all this stuff, but because you probably could get away with not really having a float, but if you end up doing any other concrete work in the future, it's kind of nice to have a float. And I did use an edging. This is an edger. Makes my edges nice and round. Then you're definitely going to need some, maybe some 2x4s. That'll give you like a, about a 3.5 to 4 inch slab. These are 3.5 inches, but it's never exact. I'll talk a little bit more about that in the video. And maybe some stakes or something to hold your form in place. And a hoe definitely makes it really nice to mix up the concrete in a wheelbarrow or whatever you, whatever you have to mix up your concrete in. A hammer, uh, you'll definitely need a tape measure, a level if you want your slab to be level. And I end up using this just to run across the boards. You'll see that in the video. And some screws to put my forms together. And you might want some gloves. And you gotta be careful when you're dumping the bags of concrete in there, don't breathe in all the dust. So if you have to wear a mask, or maybe even some eye protection. I don't wear that in the video, but I don't know, just if you want to be a little safer than I am, put all that stuff on. Well, enjoy the video and hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Thanks. Wires cut, the form's built. All right, I got 80 pound bags of ready mix concrete. And if you go to calculator.net, you can figure out how many bags of 80 pound bags of concrete you will need to fill up your form. I figured this out, this is only three and a half inches, but I figured it out for four inches and I actually have a little bit extra in a bucket in my shed. So just be careful because if you figure out exactly three and a half inches and you buy exactly the right amount, most likely you're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit more than you need anyway, but I would recommend at least having at least half, if it's if it's only this big, maybe at least have a half a bag extra, because I would figure this out. I figured mine for four inches, because when I put this down on my stones, it's definitely not gonna be exactly three and a half. If not, it's probably gonna be four inches to four and a half inches, so I don't wanna be short. So I have three 80 pound bags of concrete and I have some extra in a bag. So I'm just let you know, make sure you maybe have some extra. If you have a whole extra bag left over, you could probably take it back to Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever you got it. But it sucks to start pouring your concrete and you don't have enough. All right, if you're if you're building this little slab to put your con your condenser on, if you bought like a Mr. Cool air conditioner, I will tell you what Mr. Cool says, what the dimensions need to be from your house. Like from, from my house to the back of my condenser, it says in the instructions I have to have 12 inches. So, that could be a lot closer, but I think I'm gonna keep mine real similar to that. It's probably gonna make it easier to clean when I have to clean this. And then it says from the side where your electrical connections are at or where for your refrigerant lines are at, it says 24 inches. So there I have about 27 inches. That'll work. It gives me plenty of room. I can tell you I have a 18,000 BTU, Mr. Cool, and I am making mine about 38 inches long by 18 inches wide. Oh, another thing, you don't really need wire like this. You can buy a pre-cut rebar at Lowe's, probably Home Depot, Home Depot also. So I just happen to have this kind of stuff because I had it bought it for my garden, for my cucumbers to grow up. So I had a little piece of this and this will work really nice in this little slab. I do recommend putting something, wire or rebar in it because you really don't want to put your slab of concrete down there, put your AC unit on there, and a few years down the road, it just cracks in half. It only costs you a little bit more money to put something in it. All right, another thing, when you're putting your stakes in for your form, I, I watched a couple videos of people doing this, and I wasn't even gonna make this video, but I seen a few people doing this stuff, and it didn't seem like they really knew what they were doing, but I recommend putting your stake, if you can, down below your form, so when I go to finish this off, it'll make it a hundred times easier than trying to work around the stake. Just little things that are easy to do. Go 
good enough. Level, level. We're gonna start level because it'll probably change a little bit over time, especially once it goes through one of my one of our wonderful Pennsylvania winters. I'm not even gonna build this up because also another thing, some of these people will put build these up. Condenser units will be up off the ground a little more because of snow. But I figured this one here is for my garage, and so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. That and I have a sidewalk right next to it, so I shovel my sidewalk. I'm just gonna shovel the snow out from in front of it. Good. That should be good enough. All right, I'm gonna mix up one bag and maybe a bag and a half because I'm gonna use some of this that's in my bucket right here. And then I'm gonna put my wire in on top of that and then I'll mix up the rest. So since this took almost, I think it took almost three bags, at least for my pad, a bag and a half should be close to halfway. This is probably a half a bag right here almost. Maybe a little over. If you get any of this on your house or on maybe a sidewalk like mine, if you spray it off right away with a hose, it'll come off pretty easy. All right, make sure when you're mixing this up, you get all the way down to the bottom. Sometimes you'll think you have it mixed up and there'll still be dried up concrete on the bottom. Sit right there. Get one a little wetter than that. I'm gonna wet my sidewalk down though, just in case I do get some on it. Come off real easy. All right, maybe another bag and a quarter, and I can save the rest for another project in that bucket. It seems to last if you put it in a bucket. Try not to breathe this stuff in. It's really not good to get that in your lungs. All right, I did mix up a little more than one bag. So I didn't want to have to mix just a little bit. I'm hoping this is going to fill it. Maybe a bag and a quarter I did. Glad I got that cardboard there. I see some on my house now. I'm going to have to spray that off. There we go. Clean my wheelbarrow. You have a little time, but not a lot, so. It makes for cleaning this stuff a lot better if you spray it, don't let it dry on there. Hi. 
I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'll finish it off more with my, my float, my edger. This should be good. All right, another tip, before this completely dries, take a hammer and tap it on the sides. That way to, your sides will look nice and smooth and it'll keep all the little honeycomb stuff off of the edges of your concrete slab. So just tap that. Don't gotta get too crazy. Hopefully you don't have dogs and cats that walk all over it. Or you're gonna have a little footprint. All right, not too bad. Now I gotta let it dry for quite a way, quite a long time before I put my edges on it. Now let's smooth this out. It, it starts looking yucky on the edges. edge on, make it look pretty. I let this thing dry for just a day. I had to cover it up for right in the beginning because it did start to rain on it. Probably not going to hurt to maybe wait at least one more day till I start drilling into this to hook my hook my air conditioner on here. Just gotta clean this up. All right, well, I hope this video helped you out a little bit with pouring a little slab of concrete. Some of the things that I was doing in this video would also work just for a sidewalk. Now, if I was doing a sidewalk, I, I like to take a broom and just brush, brush this with a broom and make it a little rougher so it's not just so smooth. And then I still would've did my edging like this. Well, leave me a comment down below Hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. God bless and have a great summer.